Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Reese here from C-Mango TV, Kenny Chi Chapter 514 at the end of love. So, you know what? This week, mad, mad conclusion, but you know what? I kind of saw it coming completely, you know? It's exactly how I thought it'd be. So yeah, Rimi is basically completely in danger, not basically from Mew, from a fight of Mew, but basically because her body is completely destroying itself from the inside out. Um, the Sei Doku Katsu, I think that one finally got that right. Yeah, <laughs> as Ruto said, basically it is a comp incomplete technique, you know. So it's not fully developed, therefore you it's not really controllable, you know. So it kind of shows exactly how desperate Rimi was to be have to use that, you know, because obviously she's seen what happened to Ruto, you know, it left him to set completely disabled, you know. And this technique that Ruto says it can either disable you or worse, kill you. So you know what what's going to happen to Rimi with this one? I'm not really too sure. Even from the end of the chapter, I'm not too sure what the outcome is going to be. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, um, Rimi using this, man, damn, it's kind of crazy, you know, because uh, she's using that, and she's kind of like how Mew was when she was brainwashed, you know, she can't hear anything, she's literally completely lost within this technique, so she is just, just literally fighting away, you know, just like, everything now is kill Mew, that is it, so like, Rio is there, just like screaming to her, snap out, you know, to like, stop, don't use it, you know, we've got to get her out of it, we've got to get her out of it, and that's, that's really sad to come to think of it, you know, because uh, seriously, the whole reason Rimi's even doing this in the first place is so that Ryoto could, like, you know, notice her lover and all that stuff. And now that he's actually been able to show all the affection to her, she can't actually hear it or anything. So, yeah, it's just kind of sad. So, anyway, um, little side note um, on this chapter was um, it's kind of cool that, you know, Kenichi and Berserker, you see a little bit more of their fight, and Kenichi obviously is completely distracted. Berserkers are fighting, and Berserkers are like, "Come on, show me, what, show me some more. Show me your technique some more. Show me what more you can do." So obviously, Kenichi comes out with his. Give me a sec here. <laughs> his Rusen Seikuken, which is a technique, basically, you know, like where he's looking into the eyes and then he's able to kind of like read their movements and turn them against and kind of thing. And crazy enough, Berserker completely breaks this with his Dokai, which is really cool because it's kind of showing more of what is to actually come. So anyway, um. Back to the actual main part, which is obviously Rimi versus Mew. They have a final clash, which is just a mad, mad, disgusting punch blown. Both of them back out of nowhere. Um, Kenichi runs in to catch Mew. How he got away from Berserker that quickly, I don't know. Maybe Berserker just left him to like say, you know what, sort out what you got to do, then come back and fight me. And Roto ends up jumping out of his, flying out of his wheelchair and catching Rimi, which is like, uh, wow. So straight after he catches her, she comes to. You don't see anything of Mew now. Literally, it's like you just see Kenichi catch her in a tiny little panel. Then next thing you see Rimi getting caught, she looks up, she's all happy, it's like, Ryoto, she's all happy, and then next thing, boom, coughs up blood out of nowhere, and then chapter ends. So it's like, you know what's happened there, basically. Her whole body has completely destroyed itself from the inside out. It's kind of like, I would say like in Naruto when Guy and Lee kind of like unlock their gates, it's kind of like she's unlocked the eighth gate, you know, the gate of, I think it's gate of death. So seriously, everything inside is destroyed. It's like throughout the battle, you see her muscles and tendons tearing themselves apart and everything. So she is kind of a goner, man. And it's kind of sad, you know, because like Rimi's kind of a cool character, you know. She's like anti Mew, which is pretty awesome, you know. So hell, I don't know what's going to happen to her. It's like Ryo is really, really upset about this. So maybe what could happen is obviously Kensei is not gonna, even going to bother with her anymore because, like, yep, I've seen everything I need to see. I'm done because that's how he kind of treats his disciples. So yeah, maybe Ryota will end up go like begging Kenichi to help her save her life. Maybe Akisama will come down because obviously you know the Rizenpaku masters they come up they come after a while you know to see what's going on. So maybe Akisama will come save her and then I don't know maybe she'll be less hostile towards me because she's finally got a like objective. So hell, I really don't know what's going on there, but. Like I said before, we still haven't seen what's happened to Mew, which we'll probably find out next week, like, what that blow actually did. Because if she's in any sort of, like, mortal danger right now, you know Kenichi, the way he is, he will switch. And you know what? I'm going to make a little prediction. I'm thinking that he might actually unleash the Seido Kotsu. God, I keep getting them mixed up. Yeah, he might end up unleashing that because throughout the whole kind of, like, few chapters, Especially this week, it's like Ryo was saying it's been incomplete. Then you had last week with Kensei saying that, you know, Rimi has the ability to use it because she's like somewhere in the middle of Seikai and Dokai, you know, so she can probably merge the two together. So maybe Kenichi is going to be the one to kind of like perfectly do it together and be in control, you know, and then master it. 
Only reason I'm saying this is because, you know, obviously Kenichi is the main character. This is something which is crazy and it's kind of like, you know, it's a thing, it's a thing of martial arts thing, martial arts manga, you know, it's like they have a crazy forbidden technique that someone tries to use, it destroys them, next person ends up killing them and then suddenly the main character ends up unleashing that subconsciously and then getting it all right. So, yeah, I'm hoping, this, that's my prediction, you know, maybe he'll unleash that and then Hell, Berserker will have a fight on his hand because if Kenichi uses that, it is over. He is going to be the most OP person there. So yeah, guys, um, that is pretty much this, yeah, this week's chapter. And rating wise, ooh, it's kind of a hard one, you know. But I'm going somewhere between eight and ten, you know. I'll probably go over nine. Yeah, I'll go over nine. Nine seems good, you know, because I, hell, I'm really kind of interested to see what's going on, and that was a really epic conclusion. And hopefully, you know, I'm putting my money on this. Hopefully, my prediction will come out right. Kenichi will unleash Seidoku Kotsu. God, I think I got that wrong again. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, there you have it. I'm giving Kenichi chapter 514 a 9 out of 10. But these are all my opinions. You know, what's yours? Will Ken do you, do you agree with me? Will Kenichi unleash it? Who knows? And the next few chats will tell. So, you know, usual guys, comment, rate, subscribe, and I will catch you next week.